guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i thought we could just pick up the vlog and do like a bit of a day in the life i'm not gonna lie it feels a little bit weird not going welcome to florida day i feel like that's all i know right now that feels so so strange but we move we're back at home and the sun is shining and we're going to do a day in the life. So as I said, I thought I could just pick up the camera. I thought I could just bring you along with us. It's going to be quite a chilled one. Don't really know what we're getting up to, I'm not going to lie. The one thing we do need to do, priority on our list today, is we need to go and buy a barbecue. Because I don't know about you guys, but the weather this week for us has been bliss like i'm looking outside now it's just glorious the sun is shining and it puts me in such a good mood and it just makes us want barbecues and me and tom we used to have one and then it broke and then we've just been using disposable ones but now it's getting to summer we're actually having one tomorrow we need a barbecue yes we're, we're hosting a barbecue and we don't even own a barbecue so we need to go and buy one um so if you are excited to spend the day with us then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to go down below hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video i'm just part way through doing my makeup and i thought let me start the vlog um so i'm just going to finish off doing my makeup i'm just sipping on this tea i feel like it's a little bit warm to drink tea did i ever actually think i was going to say that in england what like what is this I have a cup of tea every single morning and I'm sat here sweating from drinking my tea. I mean, I'm going to probably keep drinking it. I've got the windows like wide open, but <sighs> have we brought the weather back from Florida or what? Literally loving life. Anyways, I'm going to put you guys on a little time lapse while I finish off getting ready. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Stripping down Honestly, this is the first time I have been on the vlog. This is the first time we've picked up a camera since literally I was travelling home from Florida. Do you know what? I was just saying to these early when I started the vlog, like it feels weird not going, welcome to Florida. Yeah, it does. Like it feels really strange vlogging at home again. Yeah, actually, it feels strange vlogging in general. Yeah, it does. It's crazy. Yeah, because we actually haven't picked up the camera. We haven't. Since we came home. This is true. But we brought the sunshine home we with us. We have brought it with us, haven't we? Yeah. What are we at today? 25? Something like that. It's, really, it's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm so, so glad it's sunny. I feel like summer's officially started. Do you? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's barbecue season now. Yeah, it is definitely. Anyways, so first stop, of course, we have to go to Starbucks. I went for our regular. Oh, oh no. Oh, you put the lid. And I've got white shorts on, but it didn't go on them, which Nightmare. is good. I will show you in a second, but I went for our regular iced white mocha. Tommy went for another fearful of ours, to be fair. And what is it? A caramel. <laughs> you don't know why you're asking me. I have no a caramel idea. frappuccino with coffee. Now, if you've been around a while, or if you watched our Florida vlogs, when we go to Starbucks, there's two drinks that we get ice white mocha or a caramel frappuccino usually it's the ice white mocha i'm not gonna lie isn't it but usually it's you went you changed it up the ice white it. mocha yeah but look how aesthetically pleasing that is is looks that not so just one good. of the best drinks you feel like like it looks better doesn't it, it looks it, better than mine it does but like i do love this do you know what though i was watching mm. them make it they literally put it to like there and what, then they what, add to there? the drink like to literally like and there and then they fill it with ice yeah. It's for a bit of cream. I ain't had cream on a Starbucks in ages. 
that's a that's a good one you know sometimes mm. you get good and bad that's a good one mm. i mean i don't think i've ever had a bad one i don't think i've ever had a bad starbucks for anyone who is new around here if you like white kinder bueno is it kinder bueno yeah. it is, isn't it get an iced Absolutely. white mocha with hazelnut syrup mm -hmm. and it tastes exactly like a bueno doesn't it mm -hmm. i haven't got the hazelnut syrup but it does taste like a bueno if you get that bueno is my favorite chocolate bar yeah would you class it as yeah chocolate you, bar? you love yeah. kinder Kinder Bueno is my favourite sweet of all time. That is just whew, beautiful. But anyways, we had to go to Starbucks before. We did. I'm not gonna lie, is it the same as being sat in Magic Kingdom? Is it the, the same as that day we got our Starbucks and just sat in that little garden? Yeah, no. looking at the castle, eating no our chocolate croissants and drinking our Starbucks. What? A, what? By the way, that's a one little memory that I have of Florida that I look back to and think, wow, that was good. What sat in the garden? So literally got our Starbucks and what did we eat? Um, I had a croissant and you had a. Oh, I had a pretzel, yeah, and we just sat in that garden. It was baking hot, and we just laid there, just sweating. Should we just close our eyes and just pretend, pretend we're there? I feel it. Mm. <laughs> like I'm there. Mm. I am there. In reality, we're outside. In my mind, I'm there. Oh. <laughs> ah. But can I actually just say, speaking of castle, I'm gonna take back something I said. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm gonna say? We need to address this. Yeah, so basically, the first time we watched the castle, I don't actually think we mentioned it again after, but the yeah. first time we watched the castle, we were actually, before we watched the castle, we were like, nothing's going to be happily ever after, it's our favourite. Then we watched it and we were like, the show is amazing, but nothing's going to beat the music. The more times we've watched that show, and the more times we've listened to that song, that soundtrack, is it the soundtrack? Yeah. Is it a soundtrack where there's multiple songs? No, yeah. right, anyway, you know what I mean, the music. I take everything oh. back. That castle, that song, that everything is ten times better than Happily Ever After. I'm going to say yeah. it. I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree. You know, like, everyone pre, sort of, I don't know when they brought out Happily Ever After, everyone would talk, used to talk about Wishes, and I can't really remember Wishes. No, I but I watched it on YouTube, and I, I didn't get it. But maybe it's because I've not seen it Yeah, exactly. In, in them types of things, you've got to see them and 100%. feel them to know which one's the best. Yeah. However, Wishes... For me, everyone was like, wishes has a special place in the heart, which, yeah, yeah, you know, great. Yeah. Happily Ever After will still have oh, that little Happily Ever piece. After is still amazing. Incredible. And it was the first one that we kind of saw together and things, so it will always be there. Yeah. But, wow. What's it called? Enchantment. Oh. Da -da -da. Can we share and can I actually just say we listen to it all the time, especially in the car when we're washing up. It's our washing up song. But we came back and Tommy was washing up one day and he put it on, and I was like, "Don't put it on. It's, it's too, too raw." It's too raw. <laughs> <laughs> actually you actually did. said it was too raw. But it actually was like it made me. It makes me so emotional. It's an when emotional I to song. It. I feel like I can listen to it now without without getting upset. Oh, good. I'm glad we're at that stage. But anyways, now. I thought I just had to address the fact that that is that that has topped happily ever after. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen or witnessed or been a part of in my life. Is that the song? And I feel like with all of them, there. there's them there's them parts of the song which you love. Oh, absolutely. I can't think what it is. But anyways, absolutely love it. And speaking while we're on like the Disney theme, what did we go watch at the cinema last week? Uh, yeah, not Disney theme. It's Universal theme. Yeah, but I mean like our holiday. Oh, holiday you know theme. I mean? uh, we went to watch the new Jurassic Park. Not a clue what it's called after that. Jurassic. Is it Jurassic World? No, Jurassic World is a a, a, a film, but it's oh. it's like two after that, I think. Right. But it's Anyways, very good. We went and yeah. saw the new Jurassic Park, and it was incredible. I loved it, was... it. Did you love it? Um, I didn't love it as much as like sort of Jurassic World, but it was still a very very good yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. It probably good wasn't film. as good as that, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend going to see that if you like the previous one. And at really, the point really of good. filming this, Buzz Lightyear. Has just come out. We're gonna go see that, aren't we? We have to. I feel like you've seen, you know, we saw that little sneak preview, and now I'm just like, I need to see that film. I need to see it. So, 100%. When we get two minutes, we're gonna go and see it. Yeah, for any of you that don't know, we actually love going to the love cinema. It. It's one of our favourite things to do. Absolutely. Absolutely love it. Anyways, we are now sat outside BM because. Sweating in the car, by the way, because oh, it is red as. And our blowers have stopped working. <laughs> blowers. Literally, like. The air con. <laughs> the yeah, blowers. but it's not just the air con, though. Well, yeah. The true. blowers in general, like, we won't blow hot heat. Not that I want hot heat, but it won't blow it, will it? True, it won't. Um, yeah, so our blowers have gone, which mm. is just not ideal in this heat. We've like had to drive with the windows down and that the air is like blowing us. Mm. Um, but we're going to go into B&M because I have seen some chairs. There's, like, there's some quite good garden furniture in B&M and I want to show you. This so will be the first time I've been in B&M for probably years. 
Tommy's not a B and M fan. Not a B and M person. I am a massive B and M. I don't get me wrong. I appreciate you get some good deals, and I love it when you go and you get some really good stuff. But I don't like going in the shop. I don't like going in B and M. Oh, that's my ideal Saturday. <laughs> B and M Primark home bargains and home sense. That is my idea of a worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean by all the garden furniture and stuff. They've got loads more as well. Well, they did the other day down there, but they've just got so many bits. Don't you think, Tom? Oh, so no, but like seriously, like, like I absolutely love the cushions over there. Like they're outdoor cushions. How nice are they? And then there's them, and there's also them, and them. There's loads. Don't you like them? What's that? Them cushions. I love them. I think they look like. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have we got? Little salad bits. There's just honestly, absolutely love it. But. Oh, look at that. Pineapple drink thing, Tom. You can fill it with like cocktail or whatever. Tell you what I do really want. Go on. Something like that. Not those ones, but string lights. You know, like kind of Love Island vibes in the garden. Oh, Love Island. What garden. do you think to that? Yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like them as well, actually. That's the thing. Do you have coasters and like mats in your garden? Like, you know, like on your table? Do you have them? Yeah. You do? On an actual table though, that yeah. Table. Do you think? No, I, I wouldn't say it is. I'd say a drinks table is one where it's like low down. I'd say ours is a proper table that like you can sit at and eat, don't you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, loads and loads of stuff if you're looking for garden bits, like to like dress your garden a bit. There's absolutely loads. So these are the chairs I thought were quite cool. What do you think to them? I don't think there's one up. Maybe just get one. What colour would you get me? Probably this colour. I oh, don't know. Starbucks. To hold it. I don't know, maybe black or like colour? probably the neutral, do you think? Kind of goes with our They're in the set, they're they're reduced. Obviously you get legs with them, they're not that they're yeah, not, to them. yeah, they're not that flat to the floor, but I actually really like that. Show that picture. It's quite cool actually. Don't you think maybe just like far of those when people come to sit on? What kind of colour? Go with what we've got. Well, it's an, it is neutral, our furniture. Like a neutral colour. Yeah, right. But I like the black as well, to be fair. But yeah, they're in the sale for £20. They were really? 28 Oh no, they were. 35 It's. They're now 20 That's good. So they've gone from 35 to 20 which is really good. The black ones are more expensive, they're 25 But I actually prefer that colour anyways, to be fair. I think they're nicer. And also, another thing I'd really like to get is an egg chair. I would like one. There's one round there, Tom, that I really like. Yeah, Let's go, let me go show you it. This is the egg chair. That's the way. I mean, to be fair, I think there's a nice one in the range. I'll show you it in there, because it's like a darker chair. I think it's like grey, which goes with our thing. But I just like the black stand and the colour of this. I like it. Isn't it nice? How much is that reduced? Does it say? No. Oh, 150. It says there, look, babe. 150. Oh, yeah. They have, honestly, they have so much garden furniture, and it, it seems to be that there's a little bit of a sale on as well. Mm -hmm. Like, they've got like chairs with um, what are they call para. What are yeah, them umbrella what? things called? You know what I mean? Parasol. Yeah, that's the one. That's nice. The rattan one. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah nice. but there's loads. So, anyways, what do you think? I don't think that's the nicest egg chair I've seen. There's a nice one right. in the range. But those chairs, what do you think to those? All right. That's a nice one. It's a nice egg chair. I like that one. But yeah, they're the chairs I was thinking. I spotted this. He really likes this. The only thing is they only have it in grey. If they had it like with a neutral... Saying that though, Tom, I think our garden furniture, like the rattan is like a neutral colour, but the cushions are grey. So actually, yeah, maybe... No, I mean, because even the brolly, whatever it's called, is grey. But I like that, and then this is also quite cool as well, like two little... We really are in Disney now. Two little rocking chairs, Tom, drinking our drink on a morning. I can get our chairs, no. no Why? You're joking. Um, but yeah, there's, there's loads of bits, but if this was in a different colour, I think Tom's right next to our sofa, that would look quite nice. Like a table and chairs instead. B&M was a bit of a fail because I thought them chairs would be good next to our sofa, but actually now you've said, I think a table and chairs is better, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think it'll fill the gap an awful lot better. 
but I'm just gutted like there wasn't any nat we just want mm. natural like I'm sure I'm pretty sure we'll see in the range anyway because that's where we've got our outdoor furniture from oh well then we might have something to match it yeah so in the range that's why I was going on the egg chair because when I looked at the furniture in the range they had an egg chair which matched and it was the same colour and everything but basically our garden furniture is like neutral rattan but then the cushions are like a grey so they don't get mucky as quick do you know what I mean? Whereas everything, I feel like a lot of garden furniture in general is grey. Yes, it is. Grey is like the in thing, isn't it? So, I don't know. Maybe, hopefully, we'll find something in the range. Not that we're getting it today or anything, but I just think there's a big gap next to our sofa where something could go. Definitely. Do you know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. There is a gap leading to the garage, and we do need to fill it, but it's just what you fill it with. You don't want to fill it with something that's... You've just fill it a gap for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to fill it with something that you're going to well, like, use and be that will... Well, I was nice. thinking like a, fat, a fire pit in the middle with them chairs around it. That was what my initial thought was. Oh. <laughs> That's what my initial thought was, like a fire pit then the <clears> chairs around it. But I do get what you mean, because if you have a barbecue, if you've got like a table and chairs, and then you've got our sofa with the table, yeah. it's, more, it's more practical, I think. Yeah. But yeah, B&M, they had sun lounges, which were actually really the nice. sun lounges were really good. They were like rat and sun lounges. They had black and grey. They had swings. They had chairs, tables, and the rest were showed you. But if you're looking for garden furniture, there was actually loads in there. Doors, and it, really it seemed to be like there was a bit of a summer sale as well. Now in the range, this is our sofa that we bought. For any wonder, it's called the New Hampshire Cornet Dining Set. And this is ours. So you see what I mean? It's like neutral. But then they're like a grey, like a grazy colour, I'd say, would you? Yeah. About that chair to go with it, yeah. You can sit on them all in here, which is nice. Yeah, you couldn't sit on them in B&M. But yeah, that's the sofa that we've got. But I was just saying to Tom, how nice is this? I mean, it's too late now. We haven't got an area big enough for that, but that is cool. So cool. Um, but yeah, we're on the hunt for a barbecue. And also, hopefully I'll be able to find you that egg chair to show you, Tom. These, the, this is the egg chair, but it wasn't that colour. Oh, can sit them. You're allowed to sit, just don't swing, does it, sir? Yeah. There's much. a double one. I think it, it was very similar to that. It wasn't that one, but it was very similar. No, it was a different colour. Like, that bit at the top was black. And then that was, like, neutral with a grey. It's pretty much the same as our furniture, to be fair. Um. Yeah, I can't seem to see it. These are well comfy. Like, literally, these are so, so comfortable. Love it. Also, there's a sale in here as well. I think there's just a garden sale, which is weird, considering it's summer, you'd think there wouldn't be a sale, but there is. Yeah, but maybe it's not a sale. Maybe it's like a advertising technique. Maybe they bung the, right the price, price up to put it down. Put it down, say there's a big sale on. Bob's your uncle, what, everyone's buying the garden furniture in summer. Mm, it's clever. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> got some really nice bits in the range like I really like all this I know it's grey which I was just saying I didn't want but I do think it's really nice they've got so many different bits and also I really really like this look at that hammock so cool so so much variety all right we're now looking at barbecues Tom is wanting gas no not gas no, charcoal you charcoal. don't want gas Um. Mm. Yeah, there are. Gas, there's a few. Many, I'm honest. There's a few. It's just gas. Yeah, they're mainly all gas. Yeah. So we might have to go somewhere else to look. But I have found the egg chair, so I'll go show you that in a second. But yeah, yeah we're just currently on um, barbecue hunt. The the best one we found. Which one was it? Was it this, this one? This one here. Which is. I think this one looks quite cool. To be fair. It does look cool, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like a good quality one as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I actually think that one's quite, that could be a contender. I think that one is it. Do you? So there we it looks like a good quality one too. Well, I'm leaving the barbecue choice up to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Because you're the one that's going to be like using it. <laughs> you know your stuff. Okay. So you decide. Oh. He's going for it. Ash tray, bottle opener, adjustable charcoal tray with franking system, chimney and vent for complete temperature control. Nice. Let's and go for it. Yeah, but is it heavy? Why don't we go get a trolley? Nah. Do you think we need to maybe get some charcoal? That we do. Okay. We'll Alright. Like it was fake, there was just a random trolley in the shop. Make life easier. Yeah, it does. 
and then we just need a big bag of that. Is that all we need then? Literally, I'll hold, oh, I'll hold that. Um, do we literally just need charcoal? That might be a really silly question. They had a bit of a section downstairs, if they don't have what you want up here. This might be, yeah, this might be a silly question, but how much of that would you need for like one barbecue? I think you just fill your... your Should we get a couple of actors so we've got one in garage for if we ever just fancy a barbecue? Yeah. But yeah, we found one, thank God, considering we're having a barbecue tomorrow. I mean, it'd be bad luck if we didn't find one and we're hosting a barbecue. <laughs> this is the egg chair. How nice. Absolutely love it. I love the fact it's got a black like base and whatever that's called. I love this colour and I love the fact that's like a bit of a darker colour and I feel like that is the perfect, because that's our sofa. Tom, what do you think to that? I love, love it. it. Absolutely love it. I think we'll... Need two though. Two? Oh, we'll buy it over, we? No, I don't think we need two. Really? No, I think one's fine. One but I think, yeah, I think we need to have a little think because if we are going to get another table mm, where but i don't know if i'd prefer that i feel like i'd use that more no, like i feel like if if you came for a barbecue fair enough maybe the other thing but for us i don't know i really like yeah. that and i think the colors go perfect but we're not going to get that today but that is the one that i think we probably will end up getting barbecue ready <laughs> we've got the goods you know what disposable barbecue for us i know do you know what i'm actually buzzing that we've just got a barbecue you know just in case we want one you know it's randomly so easy just to, because you have the cook you don't use all that you yeah quite like, if on like a friday night you just thought oh do you know what i can't want to like last week <laughs> last week me and tommy it was really really warm and we were like we fancy a barbecue then we realized that was a grill because we used to have a gas one it just wasn't the one was it we didn't like yeah, it and um, it grew work. didn't even work no and we were like we really fancy a barbecue so then we had to go get a disposable barbecue so now we've got one we can have one whenever we want exactly. summer is here it is now a little bit later on we've actually spent the last couple of hours just in the garden well yeah. actually i say we yeah. i've literally been editing all afternoon you've been out in the garden i have i've just been cleaning the um cleaning the patio because we've got guests coming tomorrow so i thought it needed a little clean a little spruce it up, was so. it, there was bird poo all over the patio it was, it was really bad it was minging, but so. we didn't film it because we filmed that literally i think the last vlog before we went away i think it was actually yeah so we didn't want to go yeah and um, but we haven't put the barbecue together yet we're going to do that in the morning so we'll film that when we do that and touch wood it actually works know, because if actually... we're missing a part or anything we're in trouble it'll be like so... guys you know when you come can you can you bring a disposable oh bag? yeah so we're all actually on disposable barbecues <laughs> now not this nice one fingers crossed let's not even put that out there no let's not put it out there but we have just received a really really exciting delivery so we are very excited to say that this part of the video is very kindly in collaboration with snack surprise mm -hmm. now for those of you that don't know what snack surprise is it's basically a box of snacks from a different country delivered to your house every single month which i'm not I mean, gonna, uh, absolutely unbelievable perfect timing for us by the way just getting back from america when we're dying for snacks not just saying this because they've sent us this but how good of an idea is that like this isn't this is my honest opinion how good is a box of snacks from a different delivered country. to your house from a random country that is actually a mint unbelievable idea don't know who came up with it but well done. Because I don't That's... know about you guys, but snacks from a different country are the best thing ever. Like, like you Liz, just don't get Chris, to try. Like American sweets that you can't get over here. And, like honestly, it's just an unbelievable idea, and I'm really, really grateful for it. Yeah, we're very grateful for them. Very, very kindly gifting us it. But like Tom said, we don't have a clue what's in it, so we're going to no unbox idea. it with you now. So it comes in. Ooh, oh, straight away spin. we know what we've got. We've Do you got get this? Uh, Spanish. Right. Does it say anything not, in there? That was not a Spanish accent. <laughs> I was going to say that's not Spanish bit. Right, so we've got like a little, we've got a little brochure. Oh, is that a word search on the back? Love that. Love that word search. Keeps Els busy tonight. And I don't know whether this is in the box or what, but we've got mini box, lots of different snacks. You'll be able to read any of this, but... Oh no, it says mini box original box. So they're the different boxes you can get. Oh, okay. I don't know which box we've got. I don't. Oh, we've got the original box. So original box. One. So we've got these. So in the original box, this is what you get. Now, obviously, different boxes comes in different, different stuff. Things. But we'll show you anyway. We can actually show you what yeah. we've got. So it all comes wrapped up. Ooh, exciting. My goodness. Ketchup flavoured crisps. Mmm. Ketchup flavoured crisps. So we've got Not them. sure I feel about them, but... 
I'll have to try them. But fried egg taste crisps. <laughs> fried egg taste crisps. So they heat this stuff in Spain. Well, I've never tried any of them, so I'm excited for that. Bucker bits. They look good. They're Liz. They look really we good. We love Liz. So they. Look at them bad boys. Ooh, what, a can it, of what is that? What's cast? I'm guessing like an orange, maybe like a tango. Yeah, it's got a picture of an orange on it. We'll yeah. try some of this in a minute. Yeah, we will. That looks like a. But is that a biscuit? <sighs> I love this. I feel like I'm in space. We've got some finny they are the sweet cinema them, mix. We always get them, don't we, when we go over there? Just a bit of everything in there. It's like Haribo's. Love it. Our Haribo's. We've got loads of. What are they? These sweets? I'm not sure. Them? These are like millions? They look a bit about nerds. They look a little bit nerds? like... Nerds? Yeah, mini millions. Millions? That would be our equivalent, maybe? We've got the a The camera's not focusing properly, chocolate but... bar. Ooh. Chocolate bar. Ooh, I like the look of that. What have we got? What is it? I don't know. Oh, it's like a cake. Well, you can see it on the front, there. It's like a Mr. Kipling's. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I feel like the, the here, with this snack box, it's like... The equivalent mm. of stuff. That looks I good. A chocolate bar like oh, cream and that does look good. it looks a little bit like M&M's. Yeah. That and does that's look it. Good. Like you get loads in there. You do. We that is three? well worth getting it. Just just to try. Imagine having like a little movie night at home and you think, do you know what? Children, if you've got kids, if not, and you know it looks like us, get it and just try loads of different stuff. How what's mm. better in life that's nice. than trying new stuff? Even if you don't like it. Yeah, at least you can see. That tastes it. like fizzy fresh orange. Yeah. Like Brit Fit 55, that's what it tastes like from over here. <sighs> nice. That's good. Refreshing. That's that's like a a tank. I've never had Brit Fit 55. So Have I you don't... not? Brit Fit 55? Never in my life. It's not tango, it's like fresh orange, but yeah. fizzy fresh orange. Fizzy fresh orange, but like that doesn't sound nice. This is actually nice. Mmm. Love that. Pick something else to try. Right, we'll try, we can maybe try a bit tomorrow and we'll try yeah. a bit tonight. So what, I feel like we have to try some of the crisps, either the fried egg or the ketchup. Okay. And then we'll try something else. Well, let's go fried, uh, right. Let's go fried egg tomorrow morning. And All treat right. it like a like Sunday fried egg breakfast. Fry up. Okay. So let's go tomato ketchup right now. Oh, they're all little crisps. They look like um, skips. I've opened that terribly. I've just peeled, unfortunately. They look like skips, don't they? They, they do. smell like skips. Oh, and they feel like skips. Not really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they, they are. are. Oh, my God. I can't like them. Wow, that hit me. It was like eating ketchup. I like them. But I like any crisps. You guys <laughs> yeah. know what I'm like. You do like any crisps. Mm. Nice. They are well done. What else do you want to try? Like, I want this pink panther yeah. thing. I think that looks good. Right. This is what else we're trying tonight. Oh. Oh my god, did not expect it smell. <laughs> it does smell like a Mr. Kipling, that. Right. Oh, it smells well nice. Mm -hmm. Try it. Same time. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, I like the look of that. Oh my god. Mmm. That smells like a Mr. Is it nice? Mmm. Whatever that is, mm. that is so good. We'll have to take a picture of that and get one next time we go. That's unbelievable. Whatever that, that is, is so good. inside it. That tastes one. exactly like a Mr. Kipling. You Do you want more? I'll have one bite and you can have the rest. Thanks. Mm. I like that. Beautiful. Right. We're actually not going to try anything else because we are going out for tea later on. Mm. Um, but. Amazing, I'll probably eat these, I'm not going to lie, tonight when we get back when I'm watching, what is it, the Love Island on the Saturday, Unseen, Unseen Bits, bits. I'm probably going to eat these, but we'll try some tomorrow when we do the barbecue, but yeah, thank you so, so much to Snack Surprise for giving yeah, us that box, massive thank you. I didn't even know that was a thing, we need to get an American one somehow because I'm already missing like the American sweets and Next stuff. movie night we have... We're getting a snack surprise. Yeah, but like I say, I will leave all of the details to Snack Surprise in the description box down below, but... What an amazing little idea. Unbelievable. I actually love the food. It's nice to try different things as well. It is now the next day. Last night we went out for a meal actually because it was my dad's birthday on Friday and then it's Father's Day today. So we went out for a meal like in the middle, which was lovely. We went to this like um, country pub and it was so, so nice. The food was like, you know when you get really, really good pub 
suit, like really, really good quality. It was amazing, wasn't it? It's a proper fully worldie club, wasn't it? It was beautiful. It was so, so nice. Anyways, so now I'm a bit peckish, so I'm going to work on these Finny Cinema Mix. But we could try. Mm, oh my god, that smells just like a proper pick a mix. Oh yeah, it does. That wow. smells unreal. Should we try? I don't like them. Oh. I know I won't like them. They're gorgeous. Well, let's have an egg. Mm. Oh, they I'm are good. like proper pick a mix sweets. Like, not like Haribo. Like, no, they're not. Proper pick a mix. Thicker than Haribo. Mm. Oh, yeah. They are absolutely amazing. I also bought them out, didn't you, if you wanted to try them? The egg crisps. Definitely. Fried egg crisps. Well, trying it. And we're not just saying this, by the way. These are actually really, really nice. These sweets are unreal. Fried egg crisps. I don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> oh, they stink. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. That is a fried egg. They smell. That is an absolute fried egg. Isn't that it? is such a weird. That is a weird crisp. Wow, I actually quite like that. Actually. Yeah, I like. That is such. That is strange. That is, that is so weird. Oh. Do you know what? I don't know. I actually really like them. <laughs> I mean, I've never tried a Friday crisp before, but... Me neither. I mean, First time for everything. As far as they go, they're quite nice. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you some bits that I actually picked up from B&M when we went yesterday, so I don't think I showed you. Um, I just wanted basically a few things for our outdoor table, you know, just some things to put in the middle. Um, so I picked up this little fake plant pot, which I thought was quite nice. It's like, um, what's the word? Cement? Yeah. Like cement. It's like grey and beige. I thought that would go perfect. I'm going to put that in the middle. Um, that cost £6. No, £7. And then I also got this outdoor candle. Um, I don't think we will really ever light it, but I just thought it was nice. It's like a wooden Looks nice, though. effect. Doesn't smell of too much. And that was £6. And then I bought a salad bowl when we have barbecues because we're obviously having one today so I thought this would be good to put like all the salad in that cost 10 and then I also just bought some um plastic glasses because again I thought they'd be good for the barbecue today but also they'd be good for like when we go camping and stuff so I got four of the clear ones and then four of the green and they were literally a pound each um but yeah I think they're gonna go quite good um together on the table I thought they'd look really nice. But anyways, Tommy is now just about to start putting the barbecue together. He's just said that there are a lot of pieces with this barbecue, so I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take. Is there a lot to it? What it looks like there is. There's a lot of parts. He's put everything out on the table. I do not think I've got it all laid out here, so I know where I'm going, but it looks like it will take me a little bit of time. So what we'll do, we'll put you on a little time lapse. So you can see him putting it together and then we'll show you the finished result. Tonight we're running on the right track. I know we never got to look back. Oh, I just want to have a good time. Call me whatever. Cause I'm up for anything like that. Oh, no. We don't want to do slow.
barbecue. I am so proud of that. Took me about an hour, all in all, but, oh, logistics. We need to be a little bit further out, but this is it. Buzzing with it. So this is what the garden is looking like now. We've got our barbecue. We've got our sofa, and I've just put these on here, but I mean, they're probably not gonna stay there because we're gonna fill this with ice, but I think they look really nice. And the barbecue looks good as well. Um, so this is what I meant yesterday. Like, we know when I kept saying there's a big space, this is what we meant. Um, so I don't know what, if what we'll either do is get one of those table and chairs, or I was thinking like um, a fire pit and then those chairs that we saw in B&M around it, and then maybe like an egg chair. I think that's probably more what we're swaying towards, but we've not quite decided yet. Um, but yeah, it's looking so good. So, so happy with it. It didn't actually even take Tom too long either, which is good. So now let's just hope it works. I mean, I can't see why it wouldn't work because it's a, a charcoal barbecue. Do you know what I mean? It's not like it's a gas one or anything, but yeah, I love it. Anyways, whilst Tom has been doing the barbecue, I've actually been just tidying the house. I tidy the house every weekend. I just spend a good couple of hours either on a Saturday or a Sunday just kind of go around and cleaning so i've just been around and cleaned all the house i'm actually a sweaty mess right now <laughs> um but you also got the grass didn't you but like cut we said yesterday we weren't gonna yeah vlog that. no so what else have i done cut the grass basically just had a tidy around and make sure that everything that i did yesterday was ready for today but we're all ready so we are actually going to go ahead and end today's video here well actually it was meant to be a day in the life but it's kind of turned out into a couple of days but we wanted to show you the final finishing yeah barbecue which we're actually Absolutely. really happy with i love it. that barbecue such a good buy i'll try and find it and link it in the description down yeah. below just in case anybody wants to buy the same one mm. but We'll let you know what it's like, but we love it so far. But anyways, that is going to go ahead and end today's video. We really, really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.